talking clock is funny twice a day. Uh, I hope you can't see anything you're not supposed to. Good night, if this thing is set right. <laughs> His hand fell off. I don't have his hand. So let's see what it takes to fix this. Okay, on this clock, there is a battery in there, which I had to take this off that covered the battery. And the original battery that was in here was corroded really bad because I'm sure as usual, on a clock like this, if it's not placed in the right spot, they just take it down, throw it out in the garage, and eventually throw it to the thrift shop. But the battery was really corroded, like I say. And so I'm gonna have to check this out because right now the clock on this doesn't work. And also, you can see he's missing, he's got his hand here. I'm missing a hand here, so I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do there in order to make him open both doors and close both doors as he goes back in. So, this also has three C batteries in here, and that's what makes them tick, and I'm sure that's what makes the motors work to make the make his eyebrows move up and down and make his mouth move. So I'm going to take those batteries out also right now and then we're going to take the back off and see what I can come up with. So I'm going to go ahead and take each one of these screws out and like I say I'm going to take the battery out and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all those batteries taken out. Let's see if this thing will just pop open or if I have to do anything special. That would fall apart on me. Okay, as you guys can see, we got a speaker right there. All this control panel there. You gotta be careful I don't rip it apart. I almost did just a little while ago. There's the wires to the button. It's a demo button as they call it. Now the sad thing is, I don't know if I can fix it or not, but we do have wires come into the battery which or into the works for the clock which come over and come to the board. So I'm going to have to figure this out to see if I can just clean this or what I have to do to trigger that. And I'm not sure, but I think there's a chance I can order one of these online, but I'll check that out a little bit later if I can't get this thing to work. Let's see about taking this whole thing off so we can get the works out. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five screws it looks like to possibly pull this face off. Took the hands off and then screw this, we'll call it a nut. this will come out. Okay, I took this apart. I'm not going to show you how I did it because I'm not a professional at that and usually you take these apart. You better be careful and pay attention to how those gears went back in and you're never guaranteed if you're going to get it to work. But anyway, because of the battery leaking its acid. Well, this thing isn't working and so I ordered a new one online from eBay and it's going to cost me approximately eight dollars I think. So I can replace this and the clock will be as good as can be 
except I still have to do some carving to make a hand or something for this side. So it'll be here in a couple days and with the magic of this camera it'll be in a second. Okay I'm back. I told you magic. Now it did take a few days for this to come through. I've got the works and the wires that are attached. They call this a trigger works and shopping online these things went clear up to $35 a piece. But I googled it anyway and this one here cost $8 and it's exactly what I needed anyway. So it does good to shop besides eBay or anyone else just shop online and take a look at what different people have and how much they want for it. But it is called a a trigger uh, battery operated works here. Don't forget the trigger part because that's what the wires are for. So anyway, let's get at cutting the one out of the clock and installing the new one. So being so these two wires are black and on my new works both wires are blue. Evidently it doesn't make a bit of difference which wire goes where as long as you got them connected there. Now just because I'm going to cut this wire short because this is garbage and this is going to give me plenty of room to hook my new deals on and I can wrap the wires around like they have tape on here to make it work out good. So let me get the wires in here stripped and then I'll go ahead and put these uh, little deals on and show you how they work, I guess. Okay, these are the clips that you insert the wires in. And then you push the button down. So I need to do is take these two wires insert them in here and we'll push this thing closed that red tab went all the way down flush now it's in there now this one I stuck together trying to make up that other one work it didn't work so here we go again you see how the that's sticking up. That will be flush right here when I push it. Stuff it in all the way. Stuff this one in all the way. And then some. And push that thing shut. And the wires are good and stiff in there. So now I can go ahead and put this clock back together again. And Wish me luck. Now when it comes to the arm, let me pull this back a little bit. When it comes to this other arm that I need to put in here, that's going to come later. I'm not as worried about that as I am getting this thing to work at all. But and I'm dying to actually get it back on the wall because it's so cool to have this thing swinging back and forth. Which I showed in the video before. So it's a great clock. Now we did go online, my brother and I, just to check out how much they wanted for these clocks. And used, they are not cheap. I'm not even going to come up with the price for you. I'll let you guys check it out yourself if you're even close to being interested. But just to give you a hint, my brother ended up, he, he's dying for a clock too. <laughs> I hate to tell you that. But he decided he wanted one. So, I think it cost him, for today's date, it cost him, I think about $65. Did I say that out loud? Oh my lord. Yeah. 
But if you have the money to buy them brand new and it costs over a hundred dollars, well, sixty-five dollars was actually cheap. Let's see here. I don't need to get that on super tight or anything. And turn this. I'm going to set this minute hand on there just because I want to feel it click. Right there it clicks. And this does have a little yellow line here in the plastic. That's pretty much giving you a hint that this needs to be pointing pointing there. Now here I can go ahead and set the hour hand on, point it there. Twelve o'clock. And set the this hand there. Yeah, it's pretty close. I don't like how tight that is. Let's see if we cut off a little bit. too tight to where they're gonna hit each other but you need them on there pretty nicely okay it's on there now I can get my dome on which this here I'm gonna go ahead and take inside and get it cleaned up it feels like it one time they had it glued on so I might go ahead and Put a little bit of super glue on, set that on so it stays into place, and then we'll go ahead and get this all back together again. So let me go clean this up and get it glued on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to glue the dome on. It does have some scratches around the outside. If it really bothers me after the clock is all done and whatnot, I can go ahead and try to buff some of them out, but realistically I'm not going to worry about it. Now when you go to glue one of these in, if you are going to glue one in, you'll notice right here, it's got a little dimple. And at the top of the clock, where the 12 is, there's also that little dimple in the thing for this thing to fit into. And so, pay attention to that when you go to try to glue this in. And what I'm going to do, i got bugs in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop of glue here and there. I only want about three. Oops. There we go. Because who knows whether you ever have to get into this. This should never have to come off anyway. I can see where there was glue on here at one time. I don't know exactly why. It was because they smeared glue all over when they installed the... Uh, numbers because you can tell those are all hot glued in. Okay, I got that down there. Yeah, I see they have some screws in here to hold the face plate on, which this shouldn't affect that any. Okay, I got that on there. And let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not. Safely. Okay. I got the clock braced up. Let's see if we can just set this down in there. Of course, this wants some more room. And this here, number six. 
it's meant to move around so make sure that's on there just to get my little jug out of the way and there are pins that this here works fits down on there's four pins for these screws to go in okay so let me get back to you after I get this screwed in I'm gonna get these four screws in there's actually uh, six screws I gotta put in and then I'll get back at you okay as you see I got my wires connected I have one two three four it's actually five and six that uh, I was able to screw this thing together the works back in here and now let's see now it looks like I can go ahead and replace this back on here and insert the batteries I'm gonna guess and see how she works so let me get this put back on here and get these screws put back in and I'll be back with you okay we have all the screws in let's go ahead, go ahead and insert the battery for the clockworks it pops in there and there's this little plate that you have to screw back on realistically I don't know why they have that plate in here unless they're figuring kids are going to get the hold of this clock which they probably do okay now we have the C batteries and the minus end always goes pretty much towards the spring positive always has that bump and it does say on here a plus for the one end and on this one here, I don't see where it says minus, but dir. So it does take three of them. And then it's got the plate that you screw back on. Let me get my bigger screwdriver here. Now there are directions on here, which is really nice it tells you how far to put the screw out quiet pendulum how far to put the screw out pretty much be able to hang this clock right and it does have instructions down here that tells you how to set the clock and the pendulum you see that hook on here you just find the pendulum inside there the part that ticks run that along there to kind of clicks in and pull out now he's hanging now let me hang this uh clock up on the wall and let's see if it works okay i have my clock ticking there and you can see since i put the battery in I've already wasted what four or five minutes but you can see the one door is still open because he doesn't have an arm but let's go ahead and hit the demo and listen So you guys, let me know, is that cool or what? So now, I'm not going to show you on video, but I have to call my brother and tell him I have the works for his clock, so we can install that. So anyway, have a great evening, and we'll see you next time, not knowing what I'm going to do, whether it be clocks or who knows. But I enjoyed
that all of you showed up.